Let's talk about PlayStation 5 Slim and the latest fake PlayStation 5 Pro specs. Are you ready? Let's look into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's time for some PlayStation news today. So there has been leaks and rumors about PlayStation 5 Slim for a while now. Tom Henderson was actually one of the first to talk about this console, to report on this console. And he also spoke about some interesting details also, and that's what I really want to talk about today. He also claims that PlayStation, uh, well, Sony really wants to release this console around September of this year. So it's actually not long of a wait, a month, a month and a half maybe. So we'll see. And people say, okay, but why they didn't announce it yet? Well, there's actually two reasons. One reason is that, uh, well, they don't really want to affect uh, the sales of the current model, right? They want to sell all these consoles, right? So, you know, I'm sure that some people would wait for a new model if they knew that it's coming and it's probably going to be better or maybe not, that depends. And um, because there's actually some cool information about that new console, because first off, uh, Tom Henderson did confirm that this slim model doesn't necessarily have to be that, sl that slim and they Sony will probably not call it slim model, right? I mean, it will be using some a uh, smaller chip. Probably there's been some rumors about uh, Sony uh, using five five nanometers uh, process for the for the chip now. So obviously that will reduce a cost. Um, well, you know, power draw. Um, well, obviously. If if it draws less elect electricity, then it will produce less heat. So obviously the cooling system doesn't have to be so, so sophisticated. That all obviously adds up and that should make for a cheaper console. But also I think the biggest change about this console is going to be for the fact that moving forward, according to Tom Henderson, of course, this is not official information yet. According to Tom Henderson, the new model will be digital only. There won't be... Uh, a, a console with optical drive. Uh, what he's saying is that you will be able to buy an, an optical drive separately, right? So that's the idea behind that console, that Sony wants to save as much money on the consoles. And it kind of makes sense because if you really think about it, not many people actually use this uh, optical drives these days. Like if you actually look at this game sales chart, um, well, most games and it's actually, you know, the digital sales actually grows uh, more and more people just buy digitally, right? Like they don't like there's still people that want optical drive. And I guess that atta that attachable uh, via USB kind of optical drive will be for these people. But um, generally speaking, what Ma what Sony really wants to do, according to Tom Henderson, and that actually makes sense. They want to unify their PlayStation 5 production because right now they've got two consoles. They've got PlayStation 5 digital without optical drive and, uh, well, the one with optical drive. So that's, well, it does make things logistically uh, more complicated and also you know a lot of people they they will just probably go for PlayStation 5 without the optical drive uh, because they, it, it won't be there uh, by default you will have to pay more and people will be like oh I don't care I'll just buy games digitally right and that's actually good for Sony because they will actually get more money right because they get less money from the physical sales because they have to share their revenue with you know, whatever, whoever is selling these physical copies, right? So that will grow digital market even more. And that means uh, not only they will be saving money on the consoles, but they will be getting more revenue from games, right? So it makes sense from Sony perspective. Uh, for uh, people that love, or, you know, physical media, you know, there will be that optical drive that will be attachable to PlayStation 5 Slim, apparently. I mean... <sighs> I say slim, but it won't be probably slim per se. Um, uh, they will be still calling that PlayStation 5. Uh, the fact that the, the, the chip is supposed to be on a five nanometer process, I, I think it's not enough to actually make a proper slim console. So the console will be probably still quite big. 
it won't be probably as big as the current one but you know so maybe who they maybe they will call it slim who knows but the main main idea behind this console is to unify a playstation 5 console models and there is going to be one console and if you want a if you want a drive just pay more right so that's and most likely that console will be a little bit cheaper too so it's probably going to be 400 dollars maybe 450 who knows we'll see how that goes so that will actually push even more consoles right by the way sony apparently they they just announced that they sold 40 mil 40 million consoles um to this date, right? That's huge success for PlayStation, especially uh, that uh, for for the first two years they were they were they, they had a lot of uh, logical not logical logistical sorry logical logi logistical issues with uh, supply and that kind of stuff, right? Mainly due to the due to COVID and stuff. So hey, well done PlayStation, right? They uh, they sure know what they're doing. So that's PlayStation 5 uh, slim news. Uh, let's talk about PlayStation uh, 5 Pro specs, fake ones. Uh, the only reason why I'm talking about it really is that uh, yeah, the main reason I'm making that video was PlayStation uh, 5 Slim, but a uh, number of people actually pinged me about that news. Now, what happened is that uh, Paul of Red Ga uh, sorry, Paul of Red Gaming Tech Tech Red something like that. I forgot the name, full name of the, of his channel. Paul of Red Gaming Tech, I think it's called. Um, he reported on some PlayStation 5 Pro news, new ones. So I'm not talking about the ones that Tom Henderson leaked a couple of days ago, but apparently new ones. And uh, looks like the this news he didn't really check that properly, and uh, you know some you know some ultra playstation guys were just spreading that rumor and i don't know who came up with these specs apparently according to that fake news fi fake specs shit playstation 5 pro was supposed to be a 16 teraflops machine um so you know like maybe i mean it's still a big boost and to be honest with you uh, if that was to be the to be true i guess if they sell if they sold that console for like 500 dollars like maybe that would actually make sense 60 percent more gpu power that's still a lot if especially if they would um you know put more faster memory and uh, upclock cpu a bit too so that would be still a, a nice boost in performance right uh but hey i mean paul did confirm i think you know a number of hours after he made that video that this this news was fake and uh, that's why you know talking about these specs sometimes it's actually worth checking who's actually uh, talking about these specs like if we get information from like Tom Henderson who's it, who is right now the best PlayStation insider like he knows a lot I don't know where he's getting the information from but he knows a lot um, so if we get information from him that's yeah that's something worth talking about uh, other than that like if we find some leaks on you know spreading by basically that is being spread by you know playstation fans is that like listen i get it's excited it's everyone gets excited about it actually i do get excited about it too a little bit but let's let's not you know copy paste every single bit of information we find on the internet because like it like most of this stuff is just fake so uh we still don't know the specs um uh, maybe it is 16 teraflops maybe it's 18 maybe it's 20 who knows right but we'll see how that goes um if uh, well let's go back to tom henderson said uh, according to his information playstation 5 pro is supposed to launch uh, late last late, late next year so late 2024 and yeah it's it's going to you know boost performance over playstation 5 where it makes sense so it's just going to be a better playstation console right not no information on our proper specs or uh price so we will ha still have to wait for that but um you know tom, tom henderson did confirm that uh more and more developers are getting their hands on these uh dev kits uh playstation 5 pro dev kits 
So right now it's mainly first party developers, but like, uh, you know, probably September, uh, October time, third party, biggest third party developers will, will actually start getting these dev kits too. So this is when we should expect a lot of leaks and uh, uh, information about that console for sure. So that was the case with PlayStation 5, PlayStation uh, 4 Pro, I remember, you know, specs actually with PlayStation 4 Pro it was quite interesting interesting because full PlayStation 4 Pro specs actually leaked uh, I think around October November uh, uh, of 2015 so that was like a year before the launch of the console and we had like a full spreadsheet we had even like part of the document documentation that Sony made for developers right with you know like different modes uh, for PlayStation 4 Pro chip and that kind of stuff so that was actually a nice piece of documentation I'm not saying that that's going to happen this time around but you know I'm just saying that these leaks usually happen around that time so anyway guys that's the video I hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below what you think about it hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.